Okay, and now more inputs coming in right now from top intelligence sources. We'll have our reporters join us to bring us more context on this. But while they're saying that it is still too early to comment on possible connections, they are looking at possible angles here. One of the angles they're investigating right now is the connection to the ongoing conflict taking place in the Middle East. Agencies are looking at historical problems in the past to connect the dots. To bring us more context on this, my colleague Anand Narsiman with us right now uh, to tell us more about what this angle means in the context of the blasts. Anand, over to you. Well, good afternoon to our viewers. One of the aspects is that it is being looked at as a terror attack because there were multiple blasts that have gone on this hall. Uh, this is an annual congregation which goes from Friday through Sunday and uh, the Jehovah Witness community is a smaller community which is an offshoot um, or, or a smaller sect within the Christian community. Uh, they do not identify themselves as Protestants but uh, the conversations are largely around the Bible and uh, based talks and dramatizations and, and preaching that happens. Now this ha is uh, happening closely at the back of a huge controversy in Kerala because a Hamas leader Khalid Mashal participated in le in a, in a virtually in a video and addressed this protest program that was organized by an Islamist uh, entity or a group within the state. So clearly there is some uh, aspect which is being looked at and parallels being drawn if there is a connection with what's uh, the ongoing Israel-Hamas conflict or uh, and, and that uh, situation brewing in West Asia. Uh, although it is too early to say uh, whether there is a direct connect, but clearly uh, more indications that there was deliberate mischief. Uh, this was intended to cause uh, hurt and a, and a certain uh, level of uh, uh, you know driving a wedge within society. The Jehovah Witness themselves have got a lot of opposers within the uh, within the community itself, within the Christian community itself, but never has it ever translated into this kind of violence. So that's why all angles are being explored. But clearly, they are leaning towards the fact that this is a terror attack because there were multiple blasts. And uh, there were it, what was the motive behind it and who are the elements that are involved? I think in the forthcoming days, uh, there will be uh, more input from that same. But all angles are being explored and a connection to Israel-Hamas uh, conflict is not being rejected at the moment, nor has it been confirmed. It's just that uh, all aspects are being explored and clearly then the motivations will also point towards who are the people who have orchestrated or executed this attack. What are the other angles that are also being explored at this moment, Anand? Well, one of the aspects is that is this internal rivalry, was there some sectarian element which is involved, uh, that is one part, uh, uh, and also, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the political aspect of it. But clearly, there, uh, and then of course the religious fundamental mass, uh, fundamentalism aspect where the Abrahamic religions themselves are juxtaposed against each other. Uh, and uh, that is also another dynamic that comes to play. So whether there is a deliberate targeting, because we have to understand that the demographic distribution in Kerala itself uh, has a distribution of Christians, Muslims and uh, Hindus. And uh, it's nearly 60% is between Christians and uh, Muslims and the larger section, about 40%, is, is, is Hindus. So now we'll have to wait and see uh, whether there is a religious undertone to it, is there an ideological undertone to it, is it sectarian, and is it uh, directly connected to those who are influenced by the Hamas and its doctrine. And if that's the case, then it is a serious cause for concern, uh, especially it happening in Kerala. Okay, can you just tell our audiences right now, Anand, is there a history here at all of this community being targeted in the last few decades in Kerala in specific? Are there any other incidents we can point our audiences to? Well, there are instances in the past uh, which have happened. Like I said, there have been uh, rivalries within the community itself. Uh, and, uh, you know, sectarian aspects, there have been oppositions to what the Jehovah Witnesses uh, tries to provocate. And... Uh, uh, you know, um, and there are those who do not agree with what they are doing. So okay. there have been, but never in the case, uh, never has this been that uh, there have been such a huge explosion or, uh, you know, uh, that that matters have come to the head or manifest the way they have right now. Okay. So so that that's one of the cases. 
uh, that's one of the concerns. Okay, Anand, uh, thank you for bringing us that context. Let's go to our colleague Neetu Regu Kumar, who also remains with us right now for more context on this story. Uh, Neetu, can you tell our audiences now more about the Jehovah community, the Jehovah Witnesses community in Kerala in specific? In India, it's a 1.5 million community. In Kerala, tell us a little bit about their history, just so we can have more context here. See, the Jehovah community is a small group within, uh, they are a Christian uh, community. It's a Do go ahead, Neetu. Okay, we'll look to re-establish our connection with my colleague Neetu. Neetu is on the ground right now, which is why we're checking in with her time and time again to get updates on this story. This is an incident that took place at 9.10 a.m. Uh, at a prayer convention center in Ernakulam in Kerala. You had about 2,500 people gathered. This was, as we've told you already, the third day of a three-day summit that was taking place. Now, a series of blasts took place. This much we can con confirm. We can also confirm that police sources are saying that IED blasts were possibly used in this explosion process. However, larger questions about what organization might be responsible, what the causes could be. We don't want to speculate.